Okay, this is our next test to determine whether a series converges or diverges called the direct comparison test. So you are obviously uh, comparing two different series. So you have, you know, one series with AN and one series with BN. So if, you know, this uh, nth term is greater than the nth term here, then if the large one converges, then the small one must converge. Again, so if the large one converges, then the small one must converge. If the small one diverges, then the large one must diverge. So, okay. Uh, for example, determine the convergence or divergence of this. Um, 1 over 2 plus 3 to the n. So let's let's compare it to another series. Um, let's just compare it to compare to you know the summation from one to infinity of one over three to the n. Let's look at um, one over just the nth terms. One over two plus three to the n in comparison to one over. 3 to the n. Now which one of these would be larger? So we'll determine like which one for example is a and which one is bn. Um, so let me just clean that up a little bit. All right. So you know if you you could plug in numbers to determine but if you look at it you know remember I said the greater the denominator the smaller the fraction is. So this denominator will always be larger than this denominator because I'm basically taking this and adding two. This denominator will always be larger than this denominator, which means that this fraction will always be less than this fraction. And if I'm comparing um, this situation to what I have here, this is my an and this is my bn. Right. This is my larger nth term. This is my smaller nth term. So let's see what happens to bn. Um, looking here, let's see what happens to the series. Hopefully you recognize this um, can be rewritten as the summation from 1 to infinity of 1 third, the quantity to the nth. Same thing, right? 1 to the n is 1, 3 to the n is 3 to the n. And the reason I wrote it this way is hopefully you say, well, this is geometric in form. This is a geometric series where r, my common ratio, is 1 third. Now, hopefully you guys remember that if r, or the absolute value of r, is between 0 and 1, then the series converges. This one converges because it's a geometric series where the common ratio is between 0 and 1. Now what did we say? If the bigger case converges, then the smaller case converges. This is my larger summation here. If this converges, then the smaller one converges. Again, you compare two um, series. Um, Compare the nth term of each of them. This one is larger than this. If the larger one converges, the smaller one converges. So in this case, my larger one converges, therefore my smaller one also converges. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, let's do another one, for example. Here's a situation, determine the convergence or divergence of this. Well. Um, you know, you have to kind of like play with it to see what you're going to compare it to, but I'm thinking I compare it to this. And then, uh, be careful, um, because if I have 1 over 2 plus the absolute value of n and 1 over the, ab uh, sorry, not the absolute value, the square root, 1 over 2 plus the square root of n and 1 over the square root of n, if you Play around with this. Um, this is the square root of n. Uh, 
um, plug in numbers to see, uh, let's say, for example, which one will be larger and which one will be smaller. So I might pick, you know, cases that are easy, like um, four. I could do the square root of four easily. If n is four, then I have, you know, in this case, one over the square root of four, which is one half. And in this case, I have one over two plus the square root of four, which is one over six. Which one of these is larger? One half is larger than one sixth. Okay, well, if I'm unsure um, which one is overall going to be larger, let's pick another number. Um, let's pick, you know, nine, because it's easy to take the square root of nine. One over the square root of nine is one third. One over two plus the square root of nine is one over five. Right, two plus the square root of nine. One fifth is less than one third. At the end of the day, again, just like I said before, if the denominator of fraction is greater, or the larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. So this is always going to be greater than this denominator. So therefore, this whole fraction is always going to be less than this whole fraction. If, all right, so that means that if I compare this to, you know, what we stated up here, then, you know, this would be my an, and this would be my bn again. So let's see what happens with um, the larger series. And if the larger series converges, then I can say the smaller series converges. So let's see if I can determine that. Now, I'm going to rewrite this from 1 to infinity as 1 over n to the 1 half. And if you look at this, 1 over n to a number, 1 over n to a number follows the p-series. Uh, again here, 1 over n to a number follows the p-series. So, Uh, in this case, p is 1 half. Now, when p is 1 half, so I kind of have this here. When p is 1 half, where'd it go? When p is between 0 and 1, then the series diverges. If p is greater than 1, then the series converges. So in this case, p is between 0 and 1, which means that this series diverges. Now, be careful with the direct comparison test, okay? Because, you know, this is the larger of the two series. And if the larger series diverges, it does not necessarily mean that the smaller series diverges. If the smaller series diverges, it means the larger series diverges, but not vice versa. So because this larger series diverges, I cannot yet determine whether or not the smaller series converges or diverges. So just because the larger series diverges, that does not mean that the smaller series diverges. If the larger series converged, then the smaller series would converge. So Right now, my direct comparison test is not. Maybe I compared it to, let's say, uh, the wrong or another uh, uh, a series that's not going to help me use this particular method. So I could use another method if I want to, or just for example here, I'll compare it to another um, type of series and see if that helps me with the direct comparison test. So here we're going to do the same thing same series, but this time I'm going to compare it to, compare to the series from 1 to infinity of, let's just say 1 over n, and let's see what I have. 1 over 2 plus, you know, the square root of n, and I have 1 over n. So let's see what I have here. So again, if you want to see which one is larger, plug in numbers. So let's just try n is 9 to make it easy. 1 over 2 plus the square root of 9, 1 over 2 plus 3, 1 over 5, and 1 over 9. 1 over 9 is less than 1 over 5. 
so so far this is less than this all right so let's see if we could pick another number let's just for the heck of it we'll try 16. um you know, one over two plus the square root of 16 one over two plus four one over six and compared to one over 16 which one is greater this again is less so this is kind of going this way where this one is the bigger series or the bigger nth term so you know I'll rewrite it as 1 over n is less than 1 over 2 plus the square root of n and therefore um, if I'm comparing it to where is it this um, now right the smaller one is a n now a n is this one and bn is this one. So the larger one is my series that I started with, and the smaller series is the one that I came up with. So let's see what happens when we compare those two. Now I hope, this is a good example, because I hope you recognize this one as a special p series. p series where p is equal to one, one over n to the one. And that special p series is called the harmonic series. And the harmonic series always diverges. Okay, so in this example, these smaller series, the smaller series is diverging. If I go back to the direct comparison test again, if the larger series converges, the smaller series converges. But if the smaller series diverges, then the larger series must diverge. And so in this case, the comparison here, what I compared it to is the smaller series. The smaller series is diverging, which means the larger series must also diverge. So uh, this was good not only because, let's say I used the wrong, not the wrong, but I used a series initially that wouldn't necessarily tell me, uh, based on the direct comparison test, what would happen with the series that I want. And of course I could use another test, but we're just playing with the direct comparison test now. So I picked another um, series to um, compare it to. And um, in that sense now, the series that I chose was smaller, and the smaller series diverges, which means now I know for sure that my larger series diverges. Okay, so let's play with some of these. Um, so here's the first one. Do they converge or do they diverge? So let's compare this one, see what happens. Compared to the summation from one to infinity, let's compare it to one over two n, let's see, okay? All right, so well, let's see which one's larger first. This is two n, not two to the n, okay? Don't confuse that. So one over two n minus one, and 1 over 2, and let's see which one is like my an and which one is my bn, which one's larger and which one's smaller. So again, if you want to determine which fraction is larger, which fraction is smaller, pick numbers for n. When n is 1, this is 1 half. When n is 1, this is 1. So, so far this one is smaller than this one. Well, let's see if that is true. Oops, I need to erase my n. Let's see if that is true for the rest of n's. Let's try n is 3. 1 over 6, when n is 3, 1 over 5. Again, this one is smaller than this one. And again, just, you can plug in as many as you need to determine, you know, which one is larger, which one is smaller, but this is my smaller situation. So um, in, if I'm comparing it to my direct comparison test, you know, rule, this is my an and this is my bn. So let's see what happens with this series. If this is my smaller series, then I'm trying to get this to um, diverge. If the smaller series diverges, the bigger one does, you know? So if this one converged, it wouldn't necessarily tell me if this converges. Well, let's see what happens to this. I'm going to actually, this is one of my properties of summation. I could take that one half out to the front. Um, and then again, look at this. This is my special p-series, where p is 1, which is called the harmonic series, which diverges. 
And so now I'm saying the smaller of the two diverges. If the smaller one diverges and just keeps growing, then the larger one will also diverge. So using the direct comparison test, I determined that this series diverges. Okay. Let's try this next one. Let's compare it to the summation from 1 to infinity of 1 over, let's just do n squared. Keep it simple, let's see. Let's see um, which one is larger and which one is smaller. So you can plug in numbers like, again, uh, let's plug in 1. 1 over 1 is 1. 1 over 5. Okay, so this one's smaller. Um, we'll do a couple more just to, you know, double check. Let's plug in 2. You know, 1 over 4. 1 over 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2. 1 over... Um, 14. I mean, hopefully you're seeing that this one is most definitely always going to be less than this one. The denominator is always going to be larger than this one. So let's see what happens here. So the series that I chose to compare it to is the larger series. Or if I'm comparing it to what we had before, this is my a n the smaller, this is my b n the larger. Now, because the series that I'm looking at right now is the larger series, I want to know if this series converges, then this one converges. If the larger series converges, the smaller series converges. If the larger series diverges, that does not mean that the smaller series diverges. So let's see what happens to this one. Hopefully you recognize that this is a P series where P is 2. If you recall, when p was greater than 1, then the series converged. You have p series, if p is greater than 1, the series converges, and so that means that the larger series converges, which means that the smaller series also converges using the direct comparison test. Hopefully this is making sense. Um, Let's try this last one. Let's compare this to, hmm. I'm gonna take four to the n over five to the n. <laughs> and so let's see which one out of these two is larger and which one is smaller, okay? Or in other words, which one is my a n and which one is my b n? You could plug in numbers, let's pick easy ones. So let's pick one, four fifths, and this one is four eighths. So between these two, this is the smaller one because the numerators are the same and the denominator here is bigger. So far, I'm this way. Um, let's see if that's consistent. So we plugged in 1 for n, one, plug in 2 for m. 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 16 over 20 is 20. So I mean, all right, so you're starting to see a little pattern, right? The numerators are going to be the same, and this denominator will always be bigger than this denominator, so I'm running this way. So the uh, series that I the series that I decided to compare it to is the larger of the two series. So um, again, I'm facing this way. This is my a n. This is my b n. So my direct comparison test will work if the larger series converges. So let's see what happens with this one. From 0 to infinity. I'm going to rewrite it. Tell me if this makes sense. Can I rewrite it this way? Is it the same thing? 4 to the n over 5 to the n. 4 fifths to the n. 4 to the n over 5 to the n. These are the same. The reason I wrote it this way is because if you look at it in this form, Hopefully you recognize it as a geometric series where R, my common ratio, is 4 fifths. So it's a geometric series. The common ratio is 4 fifths. If in a geometric series the common ratio is between 0 and 1, then that G, um, geometric series converges. So in this example, my larger series converges, which means my smaller series also converges. So if you're using the direct comparison test and the uh, series you choose 
to compare what you want to. If it's larger than the series that you're looking at, you want this one to converge for the direct comparison test to work. If the series you choose is smaller, you want it to diverge for the direct comparison to work. Otherwise, maybe change what you're comparing it to or change the method that you use to determine if uh, the series is convergent or divergent.